a key to access his faith. And so he tells us, because we have this priest, don't lose the way you speak. Don't lose your confession. Speak a certain way. Confession is not just an agenda you set and program your mind to do, no. It's an exercising of your spirit into mastery. And any man who has mastered the art of confession has certain results. I'm talking about people who speak positively. I'm talking about people who have mastered the art. What do I mean by mastering the art? You get to a point where, regardless of what the devil sends, your spirit is alert enough through the critical wisdom of God to pick it and know this is the devil wanting me to confess things a certain way. Never change your confession for anything. In Hebrews chapter 2, he says, Since the word we are speaking is true, we ought to pay much close attention than ever to the truths that we have heard, least in any way we should drift past them and slip away. In fact, the literal translation of drifting past and sleeping away is the exact opposite of holding fast. That means, if a man is not holding fast, they are sleeping away. So you see here, God doesn't say, the devil will take you away. No. You're the one who is sleeping away. You're drifting. It's your responsibility. Because life and death are in the power of the tongue. In Proverbs 21 verses 23, he says, watch your words. Hold your tongue. You will save yourself from a lot of grief. We're just not talking about speaking. We're talking about mastery. When you understand this mastery, you take a hold even of the sayings of your heart. Because some people don't know that even their hearts speak. That is why the Bible says in Psalms 19 verses 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. It's 